الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد وعلا علی وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد احبت فی اللہ from some of the reasons people go astray and differ with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam min isbab al-inhirat wa adam al-thabat ala hidayah so from the reasons that we depart from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that there is a lack of firmness and stability upon the sunnah or being uh, firm upon the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and a lack of guidance one of the reasons is a jahl bil mashroor is ignorance by those things which are legislated the only way you're going to be able to deal with this type of ignorance is by seeking knowledge of course talib al ilm the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said man yiridallahu bi khayran yifaqo fi din whenever Allah wants good for a person he gives him knowledge uh, our understanding of the religion so that fiqh fi deen ahabatifillah will help counter the jahl bi mashroor the second way in which people depart from the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is fasad al qasd is that they have a bad intention and a bad intention intention of habitatullah it could be to where you want to please the people it could be where you began your intention to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but then you went against that and this can be in any acts of ibadah that we try to practice and we do remember we have to remember that the fundamental of all worship of all ibadah is or that it's built upon two things Al-Ikhlas wa Mutabah Ikhlas meaning that you do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala You worship Allah alone And uh, Mutabah meaning that it is in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam So when you pray, you pray with sincerity to Allah And you pray as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prayed When you make Hajj, likewise When you make Umrah, likewise When you give Dawah, likewise when you uh, pay your zakat, likewise. All the acts of worship, the minhaj of the Prophet وسلم, is one. And we are ordered to follow it with sincerity. The third way, Ahabatifillah, in which a person uh, is a reason for people going astray, is Adam al Mujahida. لِتَرْبِيَةِ النَّفْسِ عَلَىٰ إِخْلَاسِ It is a lack of striving to educate a person, to educate oneself, or indoctrinate oneself with sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What do we mean by this? So how does this differ with the other two things that we mentioned? This is in reference to striving and putting our utmost effort into building ourselves to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worship Him subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and that our actions for His sake are, are for His sake, that our ibadah is for His sake. So this is striving to attain that ikhlas, that sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the last thing that was mentioned is hub al riyasa wa dhuhur, is loving position and to be out in front of the people so this is something also a way in which the shaitan uh, can trick us and deceive us and it is a reason for us going astray from the sunnah departing from the sunnah and opening the doors of hizbiyah how many hizbis do we know how many people who have some uh, some usul some foundations of the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam but yet they go astray because they love sitting in the chair they love being in front of the people they they adore that so much so that their jealousy will cause them to belittle others and to belittle the rank and status of others and make sure that the people are called back to them this is incredibly dangerous and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from it and forgive us for if we fall into that
اللهم إني أعوذ بك أن أشرك بك وأن أعلم استغفرك لي من أعلم حبت في الله the last thing I want to mention is a hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم which drives home the fact that we need Allah سبحانه وتعالى to help us stay firm upon the Sunnah the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم used to make this dua يكثر أن يقول يا مقلب القلوب يا مقلب القلوب فابد قلبي على دينك فقلت يا رسول الله آمنا بك وبما جئت به وبما جئت به فهل تخاف علينا قال نعم إن القلوب بين إسبعين من أسابع أسابع الله يقلبهما كما يشاء إن الحديث الذي رواه صلى الله عليه the Prophet Sallallahu used to say, used to constantly say, make this dua, this supplication, O oh, the one who controls the hearts, make my heart firm upon your religion. This is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what he used to do. What about us? We need the firmness upon the Sunnah because sometimes our hearts feel uh, discontented or we feel distracted from our deen, or we have doubt, uh, do we really love Allah or not? This is what this is the medicine. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya muqalib al-qulub, thabi qalbi ala deenak. Make my heart firm upon your religion. And so the Prophet ﷺ said this, and one of the companions, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een, said, Ya Rasulullah, we believe in you, and with what you came with, meaning his sunnah and the Qur'an, the Qur'an and the sunnah. Are you afraid for us? Meaning, are you afraid that we will go astray? The Prophet ﷺ said, Nam, said yes. This is to the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu ajma'in. Verily, the hearts are between the fingers of Allah. And he makes them change in whichever way he wishes. مقلب القلوب قلب يقلب Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the changer of the hearts. He's the controller of the hearts. So we ask Ar-Rahman Al-Hadi to give us uh, Al-Hadi to give us guidance to give us wisdom to give us ilm wa fiqh fi deen to give us ikhlas with the bad Allah sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to protect the Muslims everywhere and preserve the Muslims everywhere, especially in the West where we're challenged with this rise in Islamophobia and where we're being attacked for our religion and where the ignorance from amongst us and from amongst the spies and the people who are planted in the community are doing the most evil and wicked, of act, uh, wicked actions in the name of Islam and distorting the religion of Islam. May Allah protect us from them and their evil and turn their evil and wicked plans upon them and free and preserve the Muslims everywhere and bless the fuqara and the musaqeen everywhere to be guided to Islam for those who are non-Muslim and those who are Muslims to be raised up and helped and supported and may Allah increase the riz and protect and preserve the Muslims and the people everywhere and bless them with ikhlas, with the bat ala sunnah and nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabi and Muhammad.